All right, now, now that we've covered addition, because we're going to use this later on in the video, uh, now we'll take a look at rotation matrix or rotation matrices. So now let's get back to our earlier vector rotation and summarize what we have. So if you scroll back up and take a look at here. So this is what we have, and then we uh, wrote it down like this, and then we solved for these values, these x, x uh, prime and y prime, those are the rotations. So let's just summarize what we have and uh, this, the fundamental stuff that we covered. And so what we basically had was a rotation. So we had, a, this is x, y axis, x, y is the origin. And let's say you have a vector here, a, and this has components, right? This is in a triangle bracket for indicating it's a vector, x, y. And then we rotated this and uh, put it like this, make it a bit longer. Yeah, so we rotated it by an angle theta. We rotated uh, counterclockwise. So we'll have the angle, I mean the vector B with components X prime, Y prime. And uh, yeah, let's write this here actually, let's put it all, all as compact as we can, where X prime is, uh, is just gonna be X cosine theta minus Y sine theta. Well, actually, it's yeah, it's not gonna it's gonna run out of room there. I'm just gonna move it move it over here. So I I wrote it down actually here. So here I just moved it moved it down over here. So this is the x prime equal to x cosine theta minus y sine theta. Again, uh, let's double check that. So we have uh, x prime is equal to co x cosine theta minus y sine theta, and then the y prime is x sine theta plus y cosine theta. All right. So we have that, and then we're gonna get um y prime is equal to x sine theta and then becomes a plus y cosine the cosine switch cosine sine switch sides on in this case and then we're gonna have a plus uh, instead of a minus all right so now that we have this we summarize what we covered and now let's apply the matrix stuff that we learned the multiplication and addition and so on but first let's uh try to convert our vector rotation into an equivalent matrix form. So here's our vectors. And uh, let's say what we have, let's say we have our first vector a, a like that is equal to we'll put a um, triangle bracket indicating it's a vector. So you can write in this notation, but let's write this as a matrix. And this will write this as a uh, basically a two by one. So write this as an x, y and put it like that. So that's a two by one matrix like that, or one by two, depending on which one you're counting first. So yes, two rows, one column. And for, I just added, added the clarity, i equals to two, m equals to one here. And yeah, how, well, that's pretty obvious. I'm just gonna erase it. So that's a matrix there for it. And now the b vector, b vector is over here, x prime, y prime, it is darker. So this equals to n component form x, prime y prime and in matrix form this equals two x prime y prime all right so now what we have is uh well i'm going to write now we have this i'm going to take this and write this out or expand it and by itself i'm just going to put uh, x prime y prime and plug in the actual values for them or the formulas that we have this equals two in a two by in a uh, yeah two by one matrix. This right here x cosine theta minus y sine theta. So this is going to be x cosine theta minus y sine theta. Yeah, sine theta like that. And then the next one is uh, this is going to be x sine theta for the y prime plus y cosine theta like this. All right, and now what I'll do is, well, I'm gonna put the X on the other side. So we're gonna have a matrix. Um, yes, we'll have the cosines in the front. I'm just gonna switch them over. So we'll write this as uh, cosine theta times X, and then minus sine theta times Y. And then this one's gonna be uh, sine theta times X, plus cosine theta times y. We did that just because we're gonna have to have a matrix, a bigger matrix in the front, the rotation matrix. We'll illustrate that in a bit. Cosine 
All right, so we have this, and now what we can do is just break this down into a uh, yeah a matrix multiplication. So uh, uh, notice right here the uh, in this case right here we have the rows is going to be m. Uh, we'll call this i. Yeah, i is two, and then it has n is equal to one because these are just a uh, subtraction. So, but it's actually just one there. And then this what happens is this equals two, and we're gonna need uh, so if the uh, number of, of row or yeah number of of rows is two, so we're gonna multiply it. Let's go back to our setup here. So we have a setup like this. So we have this one has to match the first one. So we're gonna have a two row, and then the second one, uh, the number of columns must match the second one, and then then this is gonna have a row of uh, the same here. Like that. So in other words, we have to have, so we have to have i is 2, like that. Yeah, let's put this like this. i equals 2, and then uh, this is n equals to 1, and we're going to have to, when we multiply it by, you're going to have to multiply this by something with um, the same, this is m, we're going to have to have m, then we're gonna have to have n equals to one there, so it matches that. So let's just start off with what we have here. Well, it should be pretty straightforward. We just look at this right here. This is let's just take out the cosine theta and this y and this sine minus sine theta, and put that as uh, we'll just look at two by two matrix actually. And then the next one sine theta. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward, like that. This is going to be our m is equal to 2. And here I just move the things around and move this uh, here actually. i equals to 2 here so it matches up with this. Or just uh, the same method we were using. This is going to be m equals to 2. And then you multiply this by, well it has to have m equals to 2. And this is just our x, y vector. And this is n equals to 1. So this matches, this matches, and this match. Yeah, <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. They all match up. All right, so yeah, so that, that is what has to happen. And when we multiply this out, well, we obviously get this. So we multiply the rows by this. In other words, put the x in here and then the y. And we just get this. Yeah, let's just erase that. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So, yeah. And the next one is multiply this by this. This is basic matrix multiplication as we defined above. And we're going to get the sine theta, cosine theta, yeah, so this, uh, this x and this can be y. <laughs> then that's this part, uh, and this part right there. Yeah, so in other words, what we have is, erase everything, whoops, no, actually, no, that, yeah, that's right. So this is what we have. And uh, let's sum this up and write this out. So thus we have, we have the rotation, vector rotation, as a matrix multiplication. So x prime y prime equals two cosine theta. Let's write this better. Cosine theta minus sine theta, and then we'll have a sine theta. Then we'll have a cosine theta, like that, and multiplied by x y. Now this is absolutely fascinating. All right, and now let's just box this whole thing in. So we have. All right, so now that we have this, and uh, now let's go further. So the above two by two matrix, this one right here, this setup right there, uh, is called the rotation matrix, uh, which we denote by r or r uh, as a function of theta, since it rotates the vector a by theta. So in other words, r, the rotation matrix, is equal to, well, r theta, which equals to. I'll just put r like that, because yeah, but but sometimes I'll use the r theta when we put in a value for theta. It's going to be cosine theta minus sine theta, then sine uh, theta here, cosine theta here.